Okay guys, so here's the OBS, the 1997 old body style 7.3 Power Stroke F350, the four door, the long bed, pretty much the exact truck that I wanted. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the reasons why I went with this truck while we still have some lighting. This is my second video today because kind of on a time crunch and I need to get some stuff done in between uh, events and traveling stuff. But we're gonna go through why I bought this truck, the way it was set up, and what we plan to do with it and what we are not going to do with it. So let's get into that right now. We're gonna go through the list of things that we are and are not going to do with it and why. Okay, so the first thing I want to address because this has gotten talked about a lot Dude, return it to stock height. Drop the lift way down. Don't have a truck that big. Um, if I wanted a smaller truck, I would have gotten a smaller truck. Um, I actually looked specifically for this setup of a truck. I saw a bunch of stock ones that I liked, and that's what I was looking at originally, and I got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wanna lift it anyways, and so I'd rather find one that's just really clean, but already lifted just to save some money on parts and lift and install and labor costs and stuff like that. Because otherwise, to be quite honest with you guys, I would just be dumping a ton of money into parts just to maybe, you know, drop it off at a shop and then pick it up already done and it'd look like this anyways. And then just to say, hey, look at me, I spent a bunch of money on a lift kit and you guys aren't going to get to see it piece by piece anyways. Just to say I, you know, did it myself um, to the truck instead of, you know, buying it already done. But honestly, guys, it wasn't a... <laughs> I did, it didn't really matter to me that much. I'm like, I'm just gonna buy an already done. I don't, you know, it's not that big of a deal to me. So I wanted this truck for that reason. No, I'm not gonna return it to stock height. No, I'm not gonna drop the lift. I'm gonna keep it with the 11 to 12 inch lift that it has on it right now. And that's that. Next thing, wheels and tires. Things we're gonna do to, we are going to do new wheels and tires. New wheels and tires are already on the way. It's currently running 24 by 14 fuel Mavericks, which I've said a lot of times, but there's still always people that, you know, kind of miss the small stuff, but 24 by 14 fuel Mavericks with just like some goofy wrap on the lip of the wheel. So that's really all in there. 37 by 1350 tires, but on a truck this big, the tires need to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to be doing some 22 by 14 Anthem wheels wrapped in a 40 by 1550 wide R22 tire setup. And so we're gonna be doing the 22 by 14s and 40s. So that I feel like is gonna be a little bit better look. It's gonna be a little bit less wheel. And then of course I'm adding more tire to it. So I feel like it's just overall gonna be a much better look on this truck, at least for my preference and my taste. And yes, we're gonna keep these mirrors. People have been asking, are you gonna put Duramax mirrors on it? Are you gonna put the original little goofy forward mirrors on it. No, I'm going to keep these mirrors on the truck. I like that style. It's like an old school tow mirror. And I honestly really like that. Some people don't, but I do. That's why another another one of the things that I actually really liked about the truck. I was like, I like the mirrors. I like the headlights. I like what he did with it. I might change out the taillights because I'm not a huge fan of them. But other than that, I like the way that it's set up with those mirrors. In terms of power under the hood, Lots of questions. Are you going big turbos, bigger injectors? Are you going to do, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff? Are you going to do compound turbos, twin turbos? You know, what are you going to do? I'm like, um, probably, honestly, guys, I'm going to keep it mostly stock. And I know it doesn't sound fun for the people that want a bunch of crazy content. Um, but for the person that might be winning this truck, this specific vehicle, I'm going to be doing other um, intake mods and dumb stuff on this truck you guys know what i'm saying i just yeah we're just trying to keep it safe but i'm not going to do it to this truck the reason for that is this is a giveaway truck and i don't want somebody to have a truck that i did a bunch of modifications to that i didn't really know what i was doing and then they get a truck that was running perfectly fine and then they get it with a bunch of new parts you know and i don't really have any time to you know see how reliable they are run them on the truck see if i like them you know stuff like that so i'd rather not do a bunch of huge changes to it um, and then give somebody like an unpredictable, you know, giant truck with a bunch of parts that haven't been on it very long. And I really don't know how they're going to hold up or how they're going to perform. Um, and yes, the truck could use more power. Yes. But in the same sense, if I'm going to throw a bunch more power at it, I'm going to have to do a lot more to it in terms of um, drivetrain, suspension work and stuff like that, just to make it all tie together a little bit better. Because you can't just do one thing, you got to do it all, especially on a truck that's this big. Possible new shocks all around the truck, though. I'm trying to debate what brand shocks you think I should go with. I don't know what brand these are. Um, are they fine? They're probably fine. But personally, I feel like there might be a better option out there. Like I said, I don't know what they are, but chances are they're not Fox shocks. 
or anything fancy and they could definitely use upgraded and it might help the truck a little bit. So it's definitely something I want to take into consideration and possibly swap out on this truck. Other than that, I'm probably not going to change it too much. The interior is really mint. Um, I might take it to Best Buy and have them re-hook up the amps or the subs behind the seat. I'm not sure. I think he said they were amps. Um, have them re-hooked up behind the seat. Um, there's some kind of wire issue, he said, in between the head unit and that system back there, but he's not sure what the disconnect is. Um, so he said that... Um, if you take it to a shop that can probably just figure it out for you because the head unit works it turns on it flips out all that cool stuff but it just doesn't you don't have any audio so there's no there's no sound playing through any of the speakers that all being said my main focus right now is going to be on this bad boy um, and the two-wheel drive first gen which is parked in the barn and because i would like to kind of get some work done on a truck that i'm going to be able to keep for a little while this truck I plan on keeping a little while. The two-wheel drive first, and I really don't have any intention of getting rid of it, selling it, or really just none of that because I don't know. It's just, I mean, I might change my mind in a month or two. I don't know. But right now, that truck doesn't cost me any money sitting in there other than insurance, which is dirt cheap on it. In this truck, I paid a lot of money for it, so it'd be kind of nice to be able to get to use it a little bit, um, get to drive it, put some more miles on it, um, and get a chance to actually appreciate it and all the all the finances that have gone into this truck just to even be able to buy it um, and then actually be able to do some parts to it and enjoy it that much more but in the meantime this is the truck that we're going to be preparing for the giveaway which starts january 4th so set your calendars set your your uh reminders on your phone january 4th 12 a.m the giveaway goes live for this truck every 15 dollars will be another entry to win which is the way that it's been for the previous giveaway. Every $15 will get you another entry to win, and it ends February 5th, okay? So February 5th at 11.59 p.m., it is over. Every $15 will get you another entry to win. Most of you guys know that, but if you have any questions, you can uh, leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to address it. But um, for the most part, most of you guys know the drill. And I get asked over and over, why do you do giveaways? And people are like, you don't have any trucks that are your own trucks that you're keeping. And I'm like, yes, I'm keeping the Longhorn. I'm keeping the two of the drive first gen. It's just that at each, you know, each month I like to have, well, month or two, pretty much it's every other month. Um, I like to have a truck that I buy specifically to give to somebody uh, because I have nice trucks. I have cool things. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing that's been working for me to be able to actually keep some cool, interesting stuff coming to the channel and some new stuff being able to actually happen to like the new trucks and new parts and stuff like that. Um, but in the same sense, the giveaways help pay for that kind of stuff to actually even get done. And then in the end, each month or each every other month, one of my fans gets a truck and it just, it really helps them out a lot of people, at least so far how it's been, you know, they get a truck and like the previous guy, he's like, I really needed that. You know what I mean? Like I get to keep this first year now, I'm gonna sell my other truck and put a down payment on a house that I've been trying to get. And I finally, you know, now I'll have the money to do it. And, like it just helps people out and you don't know what people are going through and uh, what they could use and to some people it's just a truck to other people it's something that really helps them out and it can really you know have be a turning point in their lives you know you, you just don't know what people are going through but um so i'm gonna keep on doing what works for me you know if you if you don't want to participate you don't have to participate you won't hurt my feelings um but it's just one of those things that it helps somebody out it helps the channel out which helps all of you guys out getting to watch more content and actually see new trucks and see stuff get done to the trucks um, and you know brings more content you know more quality over quantity um, in terms of videos to the channel because I don't know how many of you guys remember but way back it was like once every three months we did some kind of modification to a truck for a, a few days and then that was it and then in between it was like literally like McTuning light bar videos um, which was fine it helped me get started um, but we didn't have a new truck, you know, every other month or every month. We didn't, you know, give away trucks. We weren't able to, you know, modify stuff like all the money I dumped into the nasty red build. You know, all the parts I just bought for the first and truck that we're still going to be finishing up here. Like, none of that stuff happened, you know. So just don't don't forget, you know, why we do these giveaways. It's to give somebody a truck, help bring more new content, new exciting content to the channel, and then help to push the next thing on um, after each giveaway. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for all your love and support, participating in the giveaways, making somebody's dreams come true when they get their nice new truck. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave a thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Hopefully I answered your guys' questions. Subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.